So if you have been curious how iOS 26 Public Beta 6 or iOS 26 Developer Beta 9 is, we have you covered here in this video. Obviously, this is only a short time after release, a little over a day later, but we have some takeaways. First things first, if you missed our video letting you know this was out, let's hop into settings, general, and about, and you can see yet again, this is an A build running the full build number of 23A5336A. So this is still good news. It doesn't mean we're off schedule by any means for the RC coming next week. And we'll touch on that release schedule here in a second. But what everyone wants to know is performance and battery life. So let's start right there. So talking about battery life, battery life actually has been okay on this build. It's definitely improved from beta eight, but it is definitely still not on par with what iOS 18 did offer. Still not a surprise since technically this is still a beta. But as you can see here, we've used about traditional amounts of battery, 70%, 80%. And you can see we've yet again needed to charge up a couple times throughout the day just to make sure we didn't run out of any battery um, while we were running errands and things of that nature. So yeah, good news is everything seems to be a little bit better here in beta nine, which is obviously what you want to see. And then jumping into Geekbench, we actually did run a Geekbench uh, benchmark this time. Let's get into this really quick for this beta. And it is actually somewhat surprising. So the actual single core score dropped slightly from 3456 to 3387. And the multi-core score actually went up slightly from 8311 to 8400. Like we always say, I know a lot of you guys are number people and like seeing these on paper here, so to speak, but in your day-to-day -day usage, none of these are really going to cause any sort of concern for day-to-day -day processes, email, calls, phone, whatever you use your phone for, unless you're doing one of these numbers where you're like just quickly jumping around through everything, you're not go going to experience any sort of issue with this build. So using it day-to-day, -day, as you can see, like we showed even in the initial uh, video, Everything just operates so smoothly. You saw how quick we were able to launch the camera. No issues there. No new splash screens either, like we talked about. And if you'd like to game, Clash of Clans or Clash Royale is actually our go-to here. And you can see it opens and operates just like you would expect. No delays, no lags. Everything is still good to go. Again, if this is what you like to do, if you like to game on your mobile, no issues there. One other call out I should have said, as you can see up here in game mode, game mode does seem to be working out better this time than it did in the last couple of betas. So jumping right into it, you can see here, everything does open as you would assume. Slight delays, weirdly, as you saw, jumping between some of these tabs and the achievements opening up, but otherwise everything is working perfectly fine in that regard. And now, since we really didn't expect this beta to drop, Let's talk about what to expect next. And obviously today is September 3rd, as you can see here, with the Apple event less than one week away on the 9th. And on the 9th, after that event ends, which typically is around 3 p.m. Eastern time, you can assume the release candidate or RC version of all of Apple's OSs should be going live. So we have less than a week, if you're a developer, to get the next beta or RC. And then what if you're waiting on the public release? Well, that's going to come a little less than a week after that on the 15th or 16th, should be the 15th in the morning. Apple usually drops these pretty early uh, in the morning for public releases, so that should be available at that point in time. Now, obviously also in this whole timeline we're talking about, we're gonna have pre-orders and actual full releases for all of Apple's new products. So. The event is on the 9th. We can assume that pre-orders will go live on the 12th for the new Apple Watches, iPhones, and everything else they're gonna announce. And then a week later on the 19th, you will be able to pick up or have delivered all of your shiny, nice new Apple gear. So not that long at this point in time, which is awesome to see. And speaking of which, let me go ahead and also show you my battery health since we're coming down to the last few updates here. And after a year's worth of betas and a year's worth of usage, we have 375 full cycle counts on this battery with 94% max capacity left. It did drop this week from 95 to 94. And I do assume this will be where we end at by the time we trade this phone back in. 
Not terrible, but again, not ideal. And then also, I do want to call out, since a lot of you always comment back, which I'm greatly appreciative of, is this iPhone storage to see if it changed since our initial video went live. And it looks like it's still hovering right around 35.71 gigabytes for system data used. That's crazy. A lot of you guys are hovering around 70 gigs to 11 gigs. That seems to be the common consensus here. So I'm not sure why mine is so high. And then some of the other people who's posted have been kind of around there around 32. So it is very strange. I do think that if you did a complete restore of your phone, that should go away and you should be back more in line with that seven to 10 gig run through. So having said all that, quick video for you guys today as a recap, this is a good beta to install on your phone, even if it's a primary device, but it might not be worth it if you've waited this whole long time in the cycle. You might as well just wait till the 15th to get that full data and get the full public release. No more beta. So that's it for this one, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. How has iOS 26 beta cycle been for you as a whole? Or how many of you actually are just waiting for the full release? Let me know in the comments below and we will catch you in the next one. Peace.